Hey Club Gamers, today we're having a look at Hitman 3 across Stadia, Shadow and GeForce Now on the PC at 1920x1080p. Starting off with a speed test here then, loading the first Dubai mission. Interestingly, GeForce Now actually comes up fastest here, starting the load screen there at 16 seconds, with Google Stadia not far behind at 19 seconds. But for some reason, GeForce Now kind of locks you a little bit longer in the game sequence and doesn't let you start till around the 28 second mark, whereas Stadia is off at 22, and Shadow coming in last just about at 33 seconds. So still extremely fast on the load times there, just over 30 seconds for the slowest on the game load, which is phenomenal. Going to the first part of the comparison here, looking at our Agent 47 in the mirror, Google Stadia is definitely lacking on the reflection quality here. Both Shadow PC and GeForce Now are set to medium on the reflections, so it looks like reflections is on low for Stadia. And looking out over the court here, reflections on the floor in general seem to be a little bit lower on Stadia as well as that on the character model itself. Especially if you look at the back of the head of Agent 47 as he's coming up the stairs there, that barcode is definitely less prominent on Stadia. As we come up into this extremely light area though, this is definitely a showcase for non-ray tracing. The reflections here are absolutely superb. And once again, if we look at the reflections across the board, you wouldn't think that ray tracing was not enabled in this game. But once again, if we look at that reflection quality, Stadia is definitely more blurry. You can't even make out the object in the bottom right there. Whereas you can see it fairly clearly outlined in both the Shadow and GeForce Now versions. And when you're looking at the back of the robes of the people in front, you can see that it's smoothed and blurred on Stadia, whereas Shadow and GeForce Now has the sharp edges. So you come into a first disguise takedown in a slightly darker area. We're looking pretty even across the board here. And as we put that body in and freeze looking at the cabinet, it's pretty tight across the board on the quality here. It does look like they are all pretty even when close up. Once again, looking at the character model on Stadia is slightly lower quality. Once it goes into that cutscene, however, everything is pretty equal. Let's switch over to some pure gameplay of the first takedown here. Starting with GeForce now, just to give you a feel of the full screen. And you can see again that quality on the model as we look around here. And also the draw distance on the balcony now. Look, I, I don't have a lot of time to explain everything, but I promise it will all work out. As we move around, we can see we are holding 60 frames per second quite happily as our target moves in for our mark. And unfortunately going to cause some collateral damage. In true Hitman style, this is one of many ways to take down this target, and you'll see another way very shortly. You see it managed to get away with that one, and I've walked off and come to report to security. As we move over to Stadia, this is another route if you've passed your credentials. He's very willingly lined up near the edge of a big drop and also given us knives. Talk about taking an opportunity. Looking at Stadia here, we can see that we've got slightly less of the frame rate, but overall it's looking very good here. And we did get one of the bonus perks for going this route as he dismisses the previous bodyguard. We can take several options to dispose of him here or do it a little bit later. So I took the knife route for this one. On previous ones I have just kicked him over the edge, but nobody noticed, so I got away with it once again. Moving over to Shadow PC, this is a lot closer to the GeForce Now version. Settings-wise, it was set up exactly the same as it's the PC version. 
They didn't seem to have a performance or graphics mode. And you can see that we're going to pretty much do the same as the first time, but we're going to try and time it without the girl in the way. Once again, moving around, you can see we're getting that 60 frames per second, actually over 100 frames per second according to the counter. And that draw distance and reflections is looking absolutely fantastic on Shadow. But you would hope so, it being the most expensive option here. And unfortunately the girl still got in the way, although it wasn't classed as collateral damage this time. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. As we come back side by side then to take down our second mark, it's very close across the board, but I think GeForce Now and Shadow still have the edge here over Stadia. At least at 1080p, so it'll be interesting when we do the 4K comparison on the Chromecast Ultra, how that's going to differ to that running in Chrome. Let me know in the comments below which one you think looks best, and which one you are going to be playing on if you are playing Hitman 3. And if you are playing Hitman 3, let us know which route you took to take down these two targets. The second target, I know there are another three or four ways, although I've opted to shoot him each time and managed to get away with it, as I now make my getaway. Overall, Hitman 3 is an awesome game, whichever system you play it on, and I hope that you enjoy taking down your targets. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and we will see you next time.